Hey y'all, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here. Today we're going to talk about the five required 20 amp branch circuits. You can find this in article 210.11c. And what this is talking about is that it doesn't matter if you want to run, you know, 14 gauge wire on a 15 amp breaker for all of your general lighting and receptacles in your whole home. But these five required branch circuits are going to require to be 20 amp, which by code is going to require them to be 12 gauge wire. So these five circuits at a minimum are going to be required to be 12 gauge wire. So let's talk about these five required circuits. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know if you don't have one of these locations in the home, then you're not required to have that branch circuit. And I'll explain a little bit what, more what that means here in just a second. I do want to give you guys a little tip if you're studying for your electrical license right now that this question is likely to be on your test and the answer that they're looking for is five so always remember that how many required 20 amp branch circuits are there five that's the answer that's a freebie that'll get you one step closer to getting your license so let's go ahead and jump right into the first one so the first one is the bathroom and this one's super practical right so we're in the bathroom we have blow dryers we have uh, maybe a uh, heat, you know, some type of heating going on in there, plug in towel bar. Maybe you're running a curling iron or something like that. We need quite a bit of juice inside this bathroom. So regardless of how many bathrooms you have, you have to have at least one 20 amp branch circuit. But if you have more than one bathroom, there's a good chance that you're going to have more than one 20 amp branch circuit. The second location is going to be our laundry room. And this is another no brainer, right? We have one large appliance that we know of that's running off 110 volts. But the beauty to this one is, is you're allowed to run other outlets in the room off of that one circuit, which is good because if you're in there with an iron or something else, you're allowed to run other outlets in that room off of that dedicated circuit or that de designated circuit, we'll call it that's designated for the laundry room and also your dryer if it's an electric dryer is going to be on its own circuit anyway so those two aren't going to be connected let's go ahead and pull one designated circuit to the laundry room and then we can run everything in the laundry room off of it the next one that we're going to talk about is the two kitchen small appliance circuits okay and then we're going to talk about the garage so let's talk about the kitchen first so we're in the kitchen we're wanting to use our kitchen aid and then at the same time we're like okay now we want a cup of coffee so this code's super practical, right? This is like, you know, bare bones, got to have it in your kitchen no matter what. Many kitchens have so many more circuits. They'll have two, three, four. They'll have one for the island, one for the refrigerator, one for the microwave, one for all these things. But at a minimum, you have to have a minimum of two small appliance circuits. And it makes sense. You don't want to have to be tripping and resetting breakers all the time. And that's just a pretty practical one to me. And the final one is actually going to be the garage. So when you're out in the garage and you're you know using power tools, and this one's actually new to the 2017 code and later. This was not in previous versions. So now in the garage, you have to have a dedicated 20 amp circuit for that garage. So if you have all these locations in your home, you should have a bathroom, laundry, two small appliance kitchen circuits, and you should have one circuit for your garage. If you're missing any of these areas, you're just not going to be required to have that circuit. So these are the five required 20 amp circuits. I am the electrical code coach. This is the electricians in action. If you guys need anything from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm.